Okay, in this video, video we're going to show you how to create a magic box, and this can be useful when you want to bring out items one at a time, which you have control over it. So I'm going to start by making a choosing my shape selector, and we'll get a square. I'm going to create my box. Make sure we make it big enough for the pictures of the items that I want to go in, want to go in there. Choose my selector tool. Move that over a little bit. Too much. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to move it over, shift it. Okay, this gives me the front and back same size. Alright, in your shape tools, there's a tool right here. Line chain shape. I'm going to show you what that one does. I'm going to click on the corners. And it just created that side wall of that box. Select my shape again. And I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to show you that it completes my box. But we see it doesn't look like a box because those lines are not in the right place. So there's another button here. It says send backwards. And now it looks like a box. Okay, now what? I'm going to group that right side piece with the front. This is the way I do it. Now I'm going to select these two pieces here. And there's a button up here that says group. Another one down here. And I'm going to group it. We'll select it one more time and we'll group it all together. I'm going to edit and I'm going to lock it into place. Okay, now you can go to the internet, get you some objects, or I've already selected some. I've saved them to my desktop. I've got a dog, a moose, and a whale. Okay, I'm going to type a question here that you might want to have ready for your students in your classroom. Select. I'm going to place the items in the box. Oops, one more thing. Let's see object browser. If you notice, there's a top layer, middle layer, and a bottom layer. Earlier, you saw me group the front and back. Um, this shape right here on the left side. We obviously want that on top. Select another one. That's the front. Again, I want it on top because I want it to cover up my objects that I put in my box. The other ones, you see that's the right side, I'm going to put it to the bottom layer, just drag it. And the back, bottom layer. Now, if you see my three images, they're in the middle layer. It doesn't matter about my text, where it is, it's going to stay on this page anyway. Now watch what happens when I drag my objects and act like I'm dragging my objects to the box in the box drag the dog and it appears that the objects are going in the box I'm going to save it 
And now when you come to this page in your presentation, this question can be available. And you, got the, you got them captivated, you got the interest, interest of the students, and then you have your selector tool here, and you just simply drag the objects out. <coughs> Now they're thinking about the question. You got your three objects out. That's just another way to capture your attention of your students. Hope this helps. Good luck.